Although the principle has been subject to change in recent times, when you open a comic book or watch a comic book movie, it's usually a given that, at the end of the day, the villain will lose and the hero will win. All that matters is the scale of the victory. It's fair to say that there have been plenty of comic book villains out there who've had to deal with their fair share of humiliating defeats over the years. Whether it be through the simple act of underestimating their opponent or falling victim to a particularly dastardly writer, evildoers on both sides of the Marvel-DC divide have fallen victim to defeats so great that they'll be in no rush to remember them anytime soon. But what are the worst of the worst? From rodent-based attacks to street-side muggings of cosmic gods, I'm Ewan from What Culture Comics, and here are the eight most embarrassing comic book villain defeats. Number 8. The Riddler embarrasses himself in front of Green Arrow. Batman Universe Number 2. Although the Riddler is one of Batman's most formidable and indeed most renowned antagonists, he's also a bit of a sore loser. Always impeded by a compulsive need to leave behind riddles that'll lead Batman to him once they're solved, Eddie is his own worst enemy. As such, it's actually pretty difficult to pin down just one moment where he was left red-faced, let alone embarrassed. If I were to pick a recent example though, it would have to be from the second issue of Brian Michael Bendis and Nick Darrington's glorious Batman universe, where the Riddler, well, he's just not feeling himself. Old Nigma is feeling a dearth of inspiration and instead decides to repeat one of his earliest riddles, prompting Batman to ask if he's okay, before butting in to say that he's embarrassing himself in front of Green Arrow. Batman Universe is a joy of a read, and while the Riddler does escape, being made fun of by the Emerald Archer and the Dark Knight is hilarious to see play out. Number 7. The Joker Doesn't Laugh Last Batman Beyond Return of the Joker Although Batman Mask of the Phantasm is rightly considered to be the finest Batman movie ever, for me, nothing will ever top Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. A spin-off film from the animated series of the same name, the feature centered around the Joker as he, well, returns, seemingly from the dead, hellbent on exacting his revenge on Batman and the city he once called home. Fans will likely note the film's infamous flashback sequence for being its standout moments, but there's a scene later in the feature that deserves attention as well. Found in its climactic fight, the new Batman, Terry McGuinness, turns the tide against his predecessor's most notorious adversary by throwing the Bat Buck out altogether. Instead of staying silent, he mocks the Clown Prince repeatedly, laughing in tow, and the Joker can't bear it at all. This isn't his Batman, and this isn't the way that Batman fought either. Infuriated by the notion that someone as young as Terry could beat him, he flips, forfeiting his advantage and granting McGuinness the time to set things right. A humiliation of the highest order and one of the best Joker breakdowns ever committed to screen or page, even if it wasn't technically him, but you get the idea. Number 6. Darkseid Gets Mugged Superpowers Number 3 No, this isn't some Darkseid doppelganger we're talking about. This is THE Darkseid, as in the one who has come close to enslaving all of humanity on dozens of occasions, and always makes himself comfortable in your living room when you're out. Yes, that Darkseid. Everyone's favorite Lord of Apocalypse actually got mugged in a comic tie-in for DC's line of superpowers toys released in the 70s. Depowered by Desaad and frozen by Mr. Freeze, the venerable tyrant finds himself on Earth in need of clothes, cash, and a way back home. Except things don't really go according to plan, like at all. Two muggers stumble upon him as he attempts to make his way out of a seedy alleyway, and they pretty much clang him half to death with a metal chain. Darkseid, Lord of Apocalypse, absolutely rinsed by the warriors or something. You absolutely love to see it. Number 5. Bane Gets Destroyed by Azrael Nightfall Nightfall is up there with the best Batman tales ever told, and for good reason. Released between 1993 and 1994, the event spanned across multiple DC titles and featured one of the most iconic comic book moments of all time, the moment where Bane broke Batman in two. But it's not just the backbreaking that makes Nightfall so iconic. The storyline is also famous for the period in which Jean-Paul Valley, then bizarrely entrusted to replace Bruce Wayne as Batman in his absence, informed 
forced his own rule over Gotham as a much more violent version of the Dark Knight. Wresting control from Bane was no easy task, however, and initially, the man who broke Batman even seemed to be humored by the challenge. Thinking Valley is the same man he broke just a few weeks earlier, Bane goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, electing not to pump on Venom at first and meet him in the rain. Little does he know that Valley has been preparing for this fight for weeks, with the new bat suit allowing the imposter to lay the stomp on him really, really hard. The humiliation is completed by Harvey Bullock circling the fight ringside, comparing Valley to the Italian stallion as it progresses. It almost makes you feel sorry for Bane. Almost. Number 4. Thanos Gets Arrested by the NYPD Spidey Super Stories Number 39 Thanos might have wiped out half the Marvel Universe at one point in time, but he wasn't able to evade the long arm of the law when he arrived in New York in Spidey Super Stories number 39. In control of the Thanos Copter, which I now love, the tyrant loses everyone's favorite cube, that being the cosmic one, and has to contend with Hellcat and Spider-Man as a result. Instead of using the cube to simply, you know, just kill the pair, the Mad Titan instead chooses to conjure a dog to ward them off. A really, really big dog, but a dog all the same. Puns ensue, and after being apprehended by the pair, Thanos is booked by two members of the Fuzz and sent to jail. Number 3. Doctor Doom Loses to Squirrel Girl Although Squirrel Girl today is one of the most powerful characters in the Marvel Universe, she famously thwarted Galactus when he tried to devour the Earth for yet another time by giving him loads of nuts, there was a time when her power levels were decidedly less impressive. And while the limits to Doreen Green's strength are seemingly endless, she didn't have to bust out her biggest party tricks to take down Doctor Doom. The Latvarian dictator was, in fact, felled by a legion of squirrels, sent to attack him upon the request of Doreen. The resulting 1991 issue then went on to give us one of the most iconic comic book panels of all time, featuring a suitably vexed Doctor Doom flinging squirrels off his armor left, right, and center. Everyone knows Doom for being one of the most powerful and formidable adversaries in the Marvel Universe, but sometimes all it takes is a couple of cute critters and a superhero to command them to get the job done. Number 2. Loki Gets Hulked – The Avengers the MCU is a whole last 12 years old, and while that might be a terrifying prospect for some, haha, we are all suddenly marching towards the abyss of time, it has managed to convey a bevy of iconic moments over what would usually be considered to be a short space of time for any franchise. One such moment came in 2012's The Avengers, where Loki, in possession of the Tesseract and unleashing mayhem upon New York, is downed by one of Hawkeye's explosive arrows. Hulk, sensing a moment of opportunity and a chance for some delicious revenge, climbs to the top of Stark Tower and sets about eliminating the puny god from the equation altogether, tossing him around to and fro like a rag doll before exiting stage left. Fans have been quick to lay blame on Marvel's premier franchise for relying too heavily on comedy in its storytelling, but the image of Loki battered, bruised, and winded by a rampaging Hulk is undoubtedly one of the best we'll ever get to see. And number 1. Rubber lips are immune to your charms. Batman and Robin Batman and Robin might get a bad rap, but there's no denying that Chris O'Donnell's Boy Wonder was able to deliver one of the most earth-shattering takedowns in comic book history in its final act. Also, lighten up, you bunch of edgelords. If you can't appreciate Poison Ivy gate-crashing a charity event in a funny gorilla suit, well, maybe it's time to face the fact that comics just aren't for you. With George Clooney's Batman and Alicia Silverstone's Batgirl out to face Bomberman Bane and Arnie's Mr. Freeze, Robin, who had already been bested by all three of the film's villains at this point, let's not forget, takes on Ivy in her own lair. This isn't any ordinary showdown, however. This time, Robin's out to win. His weapon of choice? An unassuming pair of rubber lips, designed to protect the wearer from any kind of lip-based poison attack. Because they happen a lot, question mark? In what is the undisputed, most epic comic book own of all time, Robin looks her in the eyes and states, I hate to disappoint you, but rubber lips are immune to your charms. Let's go. Let's go. You think I Am Iron Man was a great way to sign off your iconic comic book movie performance? Nah. Rubber lips, baby. That's how you bow out of a legendary role. 
Hey, thanks for watching our list on the most embarrassing comic book owns ever made. If you enjoy seeing people getting owned on the regular, well, why not subscribe to What Culture Comics? Remember, you can find more articles like this at whatculture.com forward slash comics. And if you fancy more of me on Twitter at you in ruins things, and I'll see you soon. Bye.